All right, let's do this. Uh, speaking of Horizon, Horizon actor Michael Rooker defends Kevin Costner's film after a dismal box office debut. Get over that crap, TikTok, and learn uh, learn how to watch real cinema. There he is, Michael Rooker, Yondu, uh, also from uh, Walking Dead. Uh, Kevin Costner's Horizon franchise got off to a dismal start at the box office with the first of four planned movies debuting at just 11, millions, 11 million at the box office. Rooker uh, says, uh, I'm going to skip that, caught on TMZ uh, after the film's lackluster opening weekend, urge moviegoers to quit TikTok and give real cinema a chance. It's real cinema, folks. Be prepared. We ain't used to that shit, Rooker said. We're used to 90-minute movies. Everything is 90 minutes. Give me a break. Get over that shit. Uh, let's watch a movie that actually tells a story where you learn about people and grow like them or hate them. It's not all fast and cut, cut, cut. Right, I'm Mary Poppins, bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, I love Michael Rooker. Uh, all this right. is it's, it's going against your 90-minute uh, complaint here. But here's what it is. Remember when we made fun of Martin Scorsese when he mocked Marvel movies? He said they're not really movies. They're like theme park rides. Seems mm. kind of like people have come around like and realized, oh, wait, a lot of this stuff is just garbage. And I do think a lot of it has to do with streaming. We have not reviewed the new Beverly Hills Cop movie, uh, Axel F. Or is yeah. it? Yeah. Um, Be Be it's basically Beverly Hills Cop 4. This is what Scorsese was saying when he was talking about Marvel movies and streaming has changed the way we look at movies. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, um, and Michael Rooker is like, whatever you think of Horizon, it's a different kind of experience. We reviewed it on the channel already, but, um, this is important. It's an important discussion. Is cinema, real cinema, going to survive? Yeah, Alan? I think, yeah, you know, it's. I want to believe cinema is going to survive. Let's put it that way. I think cinema deserves to survive for the sake of humanity. Um, you know, it, it's, and, and I think there has to be a, a reteaching of the youth uh, of what a movie is. You know, it's not, it's not TikTok. It's not fast edits. Um, you know, there there are times where you want to watch something where the story breathes, where you have character development, um, where it's not all about flashing images put in front of your face, but there's a story being told. Uh, I, I have to believe that 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 has to survive, and I believe that we, as the older generation, kind of have to pass that on to the younger generation because uh, we haven't done a good job of doing that. Well. Look, I am I am not a, a a snob. I'm not an elitist. I love a good exploitation movie. I can't wait to see Maxine, right? Pearl and X that that trilogy. Um, I like trauma films and full moon movies, but those I know what I'm getting. It's mm -hmm. like when you go to Burger King, you know you're getting you're there for a Whopper, or McDonald's, or fast food. There, there's that's fine or a drive in movie. I like that, but cinema is something altogether different. So, um, I, I just think it's a balance, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it is sort of sad to see. And Rooker has a point, I, although I don't like those, those like you know, TMZ type of in your face. What do you think about this, real quick? You know, like they tend to be like just like clickbait yeah. interviews. Although I've seen Michael Rooker at Q and A's and he's just like this. He's uh, awesome. Yeah. He is so good. Yeah. But he, he, he'll get in your face. Yeah. And he will, he'll swear up a storm. He, uh, gives really no he yeah. doesn't care and just tells it like it is. Yeah. So. I mean, I, you know, like I said, the, the, my, my daughter's favorite movies from last year, the, the big one being American fiction. It, it's a movie I had to drag her to see. Because uh, on her own, she wouldn't have seen it. On her own, she would never have her friends go see it. Um, the Holdovers was another one. Uh, I had to drag her to see that movie. And when she saw it, it it's like it, it opened her mind to what cinema is. Uh, we're going to review Daddy-O 
Uh, Daddy O is her favorite movie so far this year, and it's just two people talking the entire movie. You know that it, it just shows that you know we're the kids aren't the youth aren't conditioned to watch movies like this. You know they're they're conditioned to watch movies that are essentially ninety minute TikTok videos. <laughs> Thank you.